Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Fantasy Life. Uh, we have to talk to this butterfly, Yulia, to uh, progress the story. Jean, do you have a sec to chat? Uh, yeah, I do. I have all the sex to chat. That sounds dirty. Alright. I can't believe so much has happened since we first met, Jock. And then, cue cutscene, and... That time on the top of Mount Snow Peak, I was so nervous talking in front of everyone. Oh, sorry. Once I get going, I guess it can be kind of hard to stop sometimes. I've had such a fun time since I came to Rivera. It's odd to say, but I almost don't want this to end. That means we're moving on with the story. There's still one more place on our list, and I think that's the moon, aka Lunaris. The time has fi finally come, Father. I've lost track of how many nights I have have passed since I first came to Riveria. I've made such wonderful friends here, especially Jacques and Laura. And I've been lucky enough to explore so much of this beautiful and vibrant land, it's hard to imagine leaving this place and all my friends behind. If I return to Lunaris, does that mean I can never come back? And if I don't return to Lunaris, well then, how else can I save Riveria? Please, Father, I could really use some guidance right now. Wow. Sadness. Alright, Yulia isn't here. Uh, um, do I really have to find her? Because it's kind of annoying. Oh, hello, mailman. Oops. <laughs> Wrong button. Roland. And a good evening to you. I have a letter for you and from you. Oh, from Yulia. She asked me to deliver it to you personally. Normally I wouldn't do such a thing, but... BAM! Letter delivered. Got, to, got you to drop your guard with the old normally I don't do this routine. I live for mail delivery. Good for you, bro. Jacques, I needed some time to clear my head. I'm gonna walk around Castell for a bit. I was kind of surprised. She was looking a bit down. Hope she's feeling better. Meh. Can you just leave that note like on the door? Video game logic, my friends. Final chapter. Oh no. This is the end, my friends. This is the end. Where could she be? I'm going to assume. I would think like right here. Clearly not. I don't think she's going to be in the castle. Let's see if we can find her somewhere. Maybe she's at the bar. Oh, wait. Ha! <laughs> I thought we actually had a ser search, but turns out there's an arrow telling us where to go. Unfortunately. I mean, fortunately, because it progresses the story a little bit faster and we're not wandering around aimlessly uh, without ever finding her, but... Oh, she's in Pam's house. I never would have guessed. I really wouldn't have. Oh, she's not. Okay, we have to just talk. Oh, I'm sure Yulia's fine. Ladies, have you seen Yulia around anywhere? No, why? Is something wrong? She's not been in this evening at all. She left you a letter, though. Well, I'm sure she's fine. She does go on late night walks whenever she can't sleep. I've seen her out and about before. Have you checked around town? I know that she and Gramps often won't want to chat in the moonlight. Moonlight? I just want like that. I don't know why. Talk to Gramps. You weren't there three minutes, three seconds ago. Hmm? Yulia who? Oh, yes. The little girl in the white hood. The one who smells like butterflies. You don't often meet young ladies like herself that are interested in hearing an old man prattle on. She loved my tales, listen like a good girl. Even my own grandchildren don't care for my stories. <laughs> I try to find that funny, because it's kinda sad. Ah well, I did see Yulia though. She said she was getting ready for some sort of big journey. And then she went to the library. A reader she is. Readers are the eyes of history, you know. Yo, what's up, Pika? This is where we get all the uh, enchantment stuffs. 
Love it. All right, library, here we are. Hello, Yulia, Yulia, Yulia. Oh, this dude. Don't even think about getting loud. I'm serious. Anyone in here who even thinks about getting loud is getting booted. I've had to kick myself out for thinking too loudly, so don't think I won't do it to you. It has been kind of a slow night so far, though. Usually there's this sweet girl in all white. She likes to pour through the volumes at night when everyone is asleep. She's a real night owl. She's always going through tomes discussing the life goddess. A lot of that type of mytho mythical history. I did see her looking at an encyclopedia of butterflies once, though. She looks so sad. But she always loved her books, and that's what a librarian loves to see. She was here earlier, in fact. I figured she'd be back, but now that I think about it, she thanked me for all my help in a sort of very final kind of way. I figured she was going to visit the princess and come right back, but that was a while ago. Huh. This is the biggest run here and do that kind of quest. I will, I will admit, the story isn't as good as I originally thought it would be. But um, I really do like the depth of this game. I do like how you can basically be every single life and do whatever the hell you feel like. I love it. Uh, so we're gonna go out through here. I can't help it. Oh, she's not here either. Oh my god. Oh, hello there. Are you looking for Yulia? You just missed her. She flew in through the window, all smiles. She reminisced about some of our adventures for a bit, and then, well, she kind of left. It was rather abrupt now that I think about it. Something about her smile did seem a bit forced. You know what? Maybe we should go find her. You look worried. That makes me worried. Just give me a second, Jacques, and I'll help you look for her. If something's wrong with Yulia, I want to know. Okay, close your eyes. Can I open them yet? Okay, I can. Alright, let's go. You lead the way. You didn't even give us a direction to go all in. in, in, in. That's where it would be. All right, Yulia. Oh, Yulia, where are you, Yulia? Oh, Yulia, Yulia, where art thou, Yulia? Where are you? My dog's giving me the weirdest look. Oh, Yulia. Why? Why does it keep? Oh, because I, I'm running out of juice. Oh, Yulia. What are you guys doing here? Jacques, we've been looking all over for you. And well, princess, I guess it's okay that you're here as well. Thanks for your approval. What's going on? The goddess ship is now fully functioning and ready for flying. Already? Wow, that was fast. It appears you'll be able to make it just before the next eclipse. Yeah, Dad and only a butterfly lady said Lunaris is gonna be close tonight. Close tonight. Good thing, huh? Tonight? Yes, so gather everything. Jock, you and Yulia should make your way to the... Wait, where's Yulia? Did you lose the other butterfly girl? We're looking for her right now, if you must know. There is no time for this. You must go before the hole in the sky, or whatever it is, closes. Hello, no! Are you all insane? What are you doing just standing around arguing? We've got to go! Miss Nolia. Okay, what's the hold up? They lost the butterfly girl! What? Yulia's missing? Uh, I could probably help you find her. What? You know where she is? It's cause you got some sort of sibling telekinesis, yeah? 
No, it's because I'm not a nitwit. Yikes. What's a not a nitwit? Oh, you two are just hopeless. Just hopeless. I'm sure New Yolia... Yu Yolia? I, I just combined their names. I'm sure Yulia is just getting in some last bits of moping. She's really gonna miss Riveria. Uh, I see. So that's why she's been making the rounds and saying goodbyes to everyone. If I know her, she's probably going around saying goodbye without directly saying it. I feel like I heard that somewhere recently. She's right to do these goodbyes, you know. Cause she can't never come back! I don't know, I can't say for certain. But I can- but I can't say we'll be able to return for certain either. Neither of us knows. Oh, that's sad, that is. Look, let's just find Yulia and find- figure out the rest later. There's no time for this. You're right. Jacques, you and Noria go track down Yulia. Think of the most sentimental place in Riveria. That's where she probably is. We'll head off to the ship and see how things are over there. Meet us there. With Yulia, quickly now. We're all counting on you two. You two goons who we're not counting on, come on with me. Excuse me, we're not your personal princess slaves, you know. I know that, now hurry up and do as I say. We need to hurry, Jacques, come on. <laughs> I wonder where she could be, literally. Probably up by the statue, or with Pam. One or the other. One or the other. Yo. It's gonna be... The statue, I think. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yulia! Oh, hey there. You startled me. What do you think you're doing here? The eclipse is on its way. Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't realize. We gotta get going. Come on. Wait. Is this another- is that another statue of Mother? Yes, this is where I first heard someone in Riveria mention Mother. And it's where I met Jacques. This is gonna be a special place for me, I guess. I'm sorry, I just get so sad when I think about never seeing all my friends again. Yuli, look, I love you, but this is no time for your kind of child bubbling. The sooner we get going, the more likely it is you'll be able to see everyone again. Really? Y you really think so? Well, I really hope so, and sometimes that just has to be enough. Yeah, I guess you're right. Sorry if I worried you, Jacques. I just needed some time. Let's be off then. We've got a world to save. <laughs> no shit, we got a world to save. Hello, where have you been, huh? Huh, little miss? Huh? 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 Huh, little miss? Sorry. I gotta get carried away there a little bit. I'm gonna save real quick, but we're not ending the episode. It's only been 12 minutes. We're gonna keep going as far as we can. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's run. Oh no, we don't, we don't have the power to run. Um. Oh yeah. So it seems like we're at the end. I'm yawning. Oh, what's this? Great spirit, wake up! Oh, Julia. Hello, my dear. It's time for us to go, Great Spirit. We're actually running behind a bit. We had to take a detour to go look for someone. I, s I said I was sorry, Nolia. It's fine, dear child. I sense that you leave with a heavy heart. You have fallen for Riveria, correct? More like fallen into Riveria. But yes, uh, and now I have to go back to Lunaris. Go, child. And know that thou art not alone. For thou hast good friends. And loving sister. I turned up the mushiness dial to 11. Well, you have good friends. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna get all sappy, Furlan. It would seem the Furlan wishes to accompany thee, yet that is not possible. The Furlan will wait here for thine return, Nolia. Okay, look, I told you I didn't know if I was going to be back for sure. I don't know what I'm doing. I did so! Giga 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 giga. Ha, <laughs> you sound like a baby when you speak, Furlan. Off thou goest then, up the spirit tree. Thank you for everything, great spirit. We will see you soon, I hope. Hey man, I'm a plant bear thing. Does that mean I smoke myself? Sorry, that's kind of not funny. Um, well, you certainly took your time. Nice to see you too, Laura. 
I'm trying to work out my indignation to tell you I do not like being kept waiting. We're cutting it a bit close, aren't we? Uh, hello? Okay. Everyone, everyone needs to calm down. They are safe and sound, and here, that is what is important. I'm really sorry for worrying everyone. Oh, don't mind them. Everyone's just be a wee bit antsy about this whole end of the world business. Well, is there a reason why all y'all just standing around? I mean, the ship isn't ready and all. We worked quite hard on it. I nearly broke a sweat. Oh, Pierre, Bush, I'll miss your goon little faces. Or little goon faces. That didn't make sense. Okay. Best of luck to you all. Good luck, Yulia. Oh, Pino. Layla, I wish we had more time together. You, oh god, you can talk later. You can talk later. You'll have a safe return with my best people at the helm. I don't, I forgot. I can't say his, his voice with all these other voices going on. Falcon, thank you for well everything. Well, Jacques, step on board. And when you get to Lunaris, be sure to tell the god there that we're all uniting to save Ravaria. We're all committed to the prosperity of our world, especially to Castell. So you know, if there's any kingdom bonuses or anything he could throw out. Father, enough! We're all in this together. Of course we are. I'm just saying, I'm just saying good luck to all y'all. And thank you. Thank you, your highness. I hope you'll keep sending us letters. Let's go, time's a waste in here. Jacques, Jacques, Lu Julia, we're all counting on you. We won't let you down, I promise. And you better come back, or I'll never forgive you. But you don't say that. You don't say that. You're heartless. You're heartless. You don't say that. <laughs> Jerk. Into the ship. Oh, 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 into the ship. Great. Great. You made it. Now, why am I giving him an Australian accent? That was weird. Great, you made it. Okay, it's gonna be Australian, because I can't fuck- I, I can't do the other thing. Great, you made it. I was wondering if you were gonna have to go up to Lunaris all on my own. Sorry, Robin, my sister decided to drag things out. I'm sorry for the wait, Robin. I actually have feelings, that's all. Unlike some of us. Ooh. Well, well I got some good news for you. Larkin says- says Terra Nimbus is floating strong. No changes, so we're good there. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I wonder how that front doing. The engine's been calibrated and all the systems check out. We're ready to fly when you are. I got the accent. I'm doing it. Let me know when you're ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. No? Okay. I have to actually tell you I'm ready to go. Well, I'm ready to go. Jacques, ready to fly? Let's go, buddy. Alright, here we go. Let's prepare for takeoff. Let's do it, engine. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Looks like my time to shine, huh? Come on, engine. We're taking, talking to the ship engine. This can't be good. Ha <laughs> ha. We sell it down! Or, or now is good, too. Don't be too anxious there, Robin. We are clear for gotta ship takeoff. We're really going back to Lunaris. Hang on, everybody. Yeah, hang on, y'all. <laughs> oh, these old bones are creaky. I would advise you to hang on to something. <laughs> Lady Olivia, look. It's a Lunaris Eclipse. Dock, everyone. Yar, you fool. Ain't no Eclipse can touch us down here. It's just a show you're watching. Good luck, Robin. Don't wor- Don't worry. Don't worry, Aurora. He'll get them there. I don't know what I'm doing. I hope so. I really do. You think he'll make it, Dad? Yar, ha, ha, ha. It worked! <coughs> oh, Andy, my boy. When did you start worrying about things? I'd be no more worried about those space pirates than I'll be our own Olivia here. 
Yo okay, que sis? Go Jack. Go butterfly, you can do it. I'm losing all the accents. This is not good in the least bit. Oh Jesus, good thing it's the end of the episode. Ludaris is offering a spectacular celestial show. A beautiful sight, your darkness. Dearest, what will become of us if Lunaris closes? Woe, doom, disaster. We'll be plunged into eternal darkness. Maybe the rest of the world will match my outfit better. What? How can you think of your wardrobe at a time like this? Madam, his darkness is not serious. Oh, yes, I knew that. Calm yourself, mother. If Odin is getting jokes and you are not, we have a problem. But I mean, come on, we're dark sultans, right? Do we not love the dark? No, am I totally off here? You speak the truth, father. Yet, consider this. The shadows that we revere are made possible only by the presence of light. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. How'd you get so smart there, little dark sultan? I've studied much of the stars in physics, Father. And don't call me Little Dark Sultan, please. <laughs> well said, Odin. Jacques, Yulia, the wishes of all Riveria fly with you on this night. Who could have predicted it? The Tale of Lunaris Part 2, the sequel, Lunaris Longer. Napdrag, my long-lived friend. Have you witnessed something like this before? It looks like, like Lunaris is indeed closing. When was the last time you saw something like that? That long, huh? Wow. A while ago. Are you as worried as I am? <laughs> we mustn't indulge our fears, though. We must be strong and believe in our pi young pioneers. Pioneers. Okay, I'll put some pants on. Oh, come on. What happened? Why aren't we moving? <sighs> How embarrassing. Sorry, just give me a second here. It has been a few hundred years. This is no time to be laughing, Engine. This is bad. We're running out of time. Please, Engine, we need full power. Oh, good idea. Pretty sure that's what I'm working on here, kid. Please, Engine, you have to get going. No, you useless hunk of ancient junk. Yeah! Oh, that feel great! <laughs> I just I like giving an inanimate object a very eccentric personality. Whoa, hang on, everybody! This might go pretty long, because it depends on how this whole part of the story plays out. Look! Dearest! Yes, I see it. Lunaris is closing. Well, we had a good run, didn't we? I mean, I don't really regret. Look, the ship is moving. Whoa! I hope they can still make it. By my calculations, they should be able to squeeze through. Of course, I've been wrong before. Go, 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 you little scamperoonies. Jacques, Butterfly, you can do it! Come back safe and this is all over, you hear me? Hold down A to skip, you freaking right. Here we go, guys. To the moon! To the moon! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're almost out of time. We're almost out of time. No! 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 We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Kinda have to, but we're gonna make it. We going to The lid of Lunaris is almost closed. Robin, do something. Engine, do something too. Come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, well, here goes nothing. I'm gonna just close my door real quick. Here goes nothing. Whoa! We crashed. On to the moon. Jacques, wake up, Jacques. Are we dead? We're in the afterlife. Guys, we died. You're okay. How'd you feel, Jacques? We made it. We're on Lunaris. Oh, good. I thought he'd never wake up. My, that was a close call. I thought we were goners for a second there. Really? You were worried about us making it? No, no I mean... Pff. I knew we'd make it the whole time. D duh. Well, that still doesn't in instill confidence in me about our chances of visiting Riveria again. Shouldn't you go out and meet with other girl who kind of looks like you? Uh, let an old engine rest. I need to stretch my actuator rods. Come on, Jacques. Let's go outside. I want to show you Linares. I want to save. Is that going to be possible? Is that going to be possible? That's not a door. I always think that's a door, but it's clearly not a door. <laughs> Whoa, what? This is cool. This is cool. I like it. I like it. Jacques, welcome to my home Lunaris. It must look a lot like a lot to take in at first, but don't worry, I'll show you around. Here you can see Mother's ship, all in one piece and safe and sound. What? This is one of our star trees. Varia is right inside there. See that little floaty thing that looks like a nut? Well, that's Riveria. Father, hello, anyone home? Is there a place to save? Oh. <laughs> I'm still totally weirded out by this. I mean, you say we're on the other side of Lunaris, but I mean, are we like inside of it? <laughs> it's complicated, Robin. There's a lot of astrophysics and magic involved. I'll explain later. Oh look, the sleepy head wakens. Oh, you okay, Jack? Did you see the Star Tree? Vera is actually in there. Can you believe it? <laughs> if you want a closer look, you can climb up that ladder there. Noli is always leaving that out. Lunaris is sort of a base for observing different universes from all across the cosmos. If you just peek in there, you can, well, I mean, it's hard to describe, but you can see quite a bit. Yulia used to spend hours staring into this one. She even used to forget to eat. That's true. I was always getting in trouble for not eating dinner. You can really get lost in there. Well, well, well. Look who decided to finally come home. Whoa. Uh. I'm going faint. Hello, Father. Are you glad to see us? Divinus. Jesus. I, I can't believe my eyes. Robin, relax. It is just my dad. But, but, but are you a gal, sir? A what? Dad, please, indoor voice. These people think you're a godfather. Like a divine ruler, supreme being kind of thing. Divine ruler, huh? Hmm, well, okay. You can think of me like that. Just call me Divinus. The people down on Riveri think mother, mother is some kind of goddess. Goddess, is that a turn for a beautiful, kind, sweet, and generous woman? No, it's, I mean, well, yeah, maybe, it could be, it's... Robin, is it? Just calm down, have some water. And this is Jock, I presume. It seems you have been a big help to my daughters. They really have, father, you have no idea. Oh, just seeing that ship really takes me back. Your mother really enjoyed that ship. We found it in a forest on Riveria. I see, I see. So then, Olea, you have found what you were looking for all along, huh? Eh? The people and spirits down on, on Riveria helped us fix it up so we can go home. Eh, the ship has good bones, but the engine is just a glorified hunk of scrap metal with an attitude. Uh, I remember that engine, a sassy one. At the risk of sounding like I'm defending the engine, though, the airship is missing a vital piece. What? Celestia left behind a part of the ship when she first set off for Riveria. 
I b bet you had a tr spot of trouble making it up here without a fully equipped airship, huh? <coughs> spot of trouble? We barely made it in one piece. Look, we don't have time for this right now, Father. We brought you back something extremely precious. Just like I said I would. Oh, what is that? Jacques helped me gather these wishes from the citizens of Riveria. I heard so many people's wishes, I brought us back as many as I could. Happy wishes, bittersweet wishes, secret wishes, all kinds of different wishes. Filled with all sorts of power. You know, at first, I only heard selfish wishes. And to be honest with you, I started getting sad. But then I was able to turn it around and really got to nope some people. And it started to be so fun. Well, I mean, it wasn't just fun, it was hard and scary and tough at times. But I realized that's what life is all about. It's not just all roses, but it's never all thorns either. If we never get mad, we'll never be able to really enjoy a smile. And if we cried, we'd never be able to feel just how good it is to laugh. And if our hopes and dreams for the future endure everything, well, that's what keeps us going in life. I've brought all these wishes to you. Honest and powerful wishes filled with this power. These wishes are filled with the power to save Riveria, just like Mother wanted. I see why she loved Riveria so much. I am forget forever indebted to the friends I've made in my times here. Please, Father, let me use the wishes I've gathered. <coughs> oh, fine, I'll help too. No, Leah, I knew you'd come around. Shush, <laughs> you're not the only one who's been collecting wishes, you know. It'd be a shame to waste them. I couldn't be more pleased or more proud of you daughters of mine altogether then. Take the wishes you have gathered. And focus. Mother, grant us your strength. Oh, you girls have me so proud. Mother? What? Who else would it be? You didn't call upon me, did you not? It, but it actually worked? <laughs> yes, well, the power of wishes is stronger at some times than at other times. Oh, Mother, it's so wonderful to see you again. Is this, is this a dream? If it is, we're both having the same one. You could ask yourself, my dears, what is a dream but a manifestation of our desires? By that definition, is my appearing before you not a splendid dream of your own doing? Or perhaps it's my own desire, and my own dream, to gaze upon the two of you again. Mother, we asked for your strength and your courage. We're not quite sure how to do this. Yulia, my child, ask yourself, what makes up the power of wishes you, so dear, you seek so dearly? Or put it another way, what do you think makes people truly happy? Collecting stars? Amassing dash? Gathering bliss? Is it as simple as accumulating the knowledge of a hard day's work in one's life, or is it more? Perhaps meeting someone special and finding your care in about that person more than yourself? There are many ways to live a fulfilling life, so how do people express their happiness in life? Well, sometimes they just walk around with a dumb old smiles plastered to their face. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't have used those words, but they smile. They also cry. And if you're able to gather the power behind the tears, behind the smiles, and combine them, sounds like you're making a wish stew. Well, again, not quite how I would have put it, but yes, I guess there is is a crafting of happiness at work here. But why would you need to add tears to the happy stew then? Tears aren't happy. Okay, well, first of all, let's stop referring to this as a stew. That would just help me in, in explaining this. Think about the destruction of Riveria. Quite a sad thing would that would create many tears, wouldn't it? And should the same planet be saved, there is happiness everywhere, and still, there are tears. Do you see, Nolia? It looks like there might be a small drop of happiness in your eyes right now. It's just allergies! Dad never dusts this place. At this point, after everything we've been through, I don't even know if my tears are happy or sad. And therein lies the true nature of tears, my darling. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is so freaking corny. Are you saying that that people cry when we don't know why? Yulia, you are adorable. Let me ask this. Did both of you shed tears of any kind in Riveria? Sure. Nolia shed more, though. I'm sure. And you both laughed a lot while you were on Riveria, too, did you not? Hm. <laughs> never last laughed so much before in my life. Yeah, I guess I made some friends, too. That kind of made me happy, if I have to admit it. Even though some of them were a bunch of weirdos. Some of my friends are weirdos. Did either of you laugh so much you cried? 
When that happens, that is how you know the power of true joy. And that is when you experience the secret power that can save the world. Oh my god, this is so freaking corny. Ooh. The power of one's wishes can be felt through the tears of joy as well as the tears of sadness. While you're experiencing such tears, tears, you can know you are in the presence of great wishes. So, it's like tear soup more than happiness stew. Goodbye, my dears. Stew, or su stew or soup, however you need to look at it is fine. I shall be with you always in everything you do. And I will th and I think we will see each one another again in another dream. Mother? Wait. Well, I didn't see that coming. You girls okay? We got to see her, father. She was here. She was right here with us. Now, now we know we truly harness one power that can save Rivera. It's all right here. Magic. Well, that's good news. Let's do it. Look at that. That symbol. It's the life goddess symbol. Boy, this sure takes me back. I haven't seen a wish crystal since my early older years. Hers looked a bit different, but your mother made one just like this. Hmm. Although it doesn't look like... Doesn't look like what? Well, I hate to say this, sweetie, but it doesn't look like there's enough power in this crystal. Not enough to purify Reveria, anyway. There simply aren't enough wishes. What? How can that be? We came all this way! Oh, I should've known this wouldn't work out. Wait, I wish that- I wish that there were enough wishes. Am I wishing there? It won't help, Robin. Your wish is already in there. Jacques is in there as well. Then we gotta go back to Reveria and get some more wishes now. We can't. The eclipse is full. We've run out of time. No, it can't be over, just like that. I'm sorry. That's just how the world crumbles. You're nothing but an old fraud. A giant fraud. Robin? This old geezer isn't a god or a divine ruler or anything. Otherwise, he'd save Reveria. I don't think it works like that, Robin. I'm sorry. What? We lost. Game over. Can I save? Is there anywhere to save? We can come back to this. No, nowhere to save. Literally. Oh, come on. No. No. Okay, so this is going to be a super long episode. Damn it. I'm glad I got to spend so much time there. It really is the most wonderful place. I'll miss it so. What about you, Jacques? Did you enjoy your time on Riveria? Of course. It was wonderful, wasn't it? Don't you st still wish that Riveria could continue on? Yes. I know, me too. I have so many wonderful memories of Rivera, the town square we first met, and so many fascinating lands we journeyed across. My first taste of sugared water, Pierre's ridiculous hairstyle, yeah, I, I guess I won't miss that last one so much. Ah, but I'm not ready to give up just yet. I made a promise to Laura, and I intend to keep it. Jacques, you remember your wish, right? It was, I want to have superpowers, wasn't it? Jacques, do you know what I wish for? I think so. Oh, I knew you would. You've been a wonderful friend. I'm so grateful we met each other. Thank you, Jacques. Thank you. I know what I have to do. Father, I've made up my mind. Is that so? What is it? I have a wish of my own. I wish... Well, you, you really shocked me the good that time. Although, I mean, when I think about it, I guess I should have seen it coming all along. The whole cycle of prophecy fulfilling itself kind of thing, you know. Glad Yulia's wish was enough to tip the scales, though. Rivera is okay in my book. And if she's happy living out her life on Rivera, I think Rivera would be lucky to have her. It would be a noble sacrifice for anyone to make. For her, though, I think you're right. It is with sadness that I accepted her decision. However, I know she will be happy there. What about you? Your sister has committed to living there. Are you okay with never going back? What? I was planning on going back. Oh, you would mean you want to do that too? So that Robin boy, he seems to... What? Yeah, right. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't implying anything by that. Gross. I was just thinking I could go back, you know, to see Robin and maybe Robin. I'm just gonna leave that. It was decent of him to apologize for his outburst. 
calling me an old fraud, I mean. Even if he did have a point. His faith in his divine ruler was restored the instant I saved Reveria. Interesting, that. What do you mean? Well, he was mistaken about my own actions. I didn't do anything to save Reveria. Truth be told, I'd quite given up on it totally. Wow, so it really was the power of everyone's wishes and the work that went into gathering them. Well, let's just put it this way. If I were indeed some divine ruler of Reveria, I would pray for us all. <laughs> At any rate, all is saved. I wonder how things will change down the fo folklore there on Reveria. Wait, Dad, so if you aren't a divine ruler, then I'm sorry, well, what are you? What am I? I am the father of two adorable daughters and the slightly oversized husband of a much-loved wife. Good answer, but so you're just gonna let Robin go on thinking you're a god? Well, what harm could it do? Everyone has their own beliefs. If I make them happy, let people have faith in what they like. Besides, the truth is pretty boring, don't you think? I mean, what's fun in believing some old guy with a beard named Todd Divinus? You're a weird one, Dad. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Uh-oh. What is it? Looks like Yulia forgot something. But I just gave that to her. That engine's never gonna make it without... <sighs> well, you know what. Who knows? I've been quite surprised today. Your mother flew off without it last time as well. You inherited your mother's stubborn nature, Yulia. And Yulia inherited all her optimism. And a little a bit of her forgetfulness, too. That's great, Dad. But are they gonna make it back in Reveria in one piece? Well, that strapping on Peak's pipsqueak Robin is at the helm, right? If you made it up here, I'm sure they'll be fine. Maybe if you can if you can make the ship run on wishes. Nice one, Dad. I'm sure they'll be fine. My little Yulia, I can see her now, making a new life for herself in a far-off world. Good luck, Yulia. You better be happy, for father's sake, if not yours. And maybe for mine, just a little bit. Is that like the game over there? I feel like pretty abrupt. Come on, Yulia. You promised you'd be back. Oh my god. Weeks have passed. I've lost count of how many. Ever since the lid on Lunaris closed on us, we've been plunged into a darkness worse than any nightmare. It's difficult to keep track of the days when night follows night, but nothing but dark. I fear that the beauty of a sunrise, the magnificence of a sunset, I fear all of these things will end up as memories. I feel the light in my heart has gone out as well. I gaze up at the empty sky with ears... Yeah years. Wrong. We are all dreaming of the same thing, of a brilliant light to shine down from the sky and illuminate our lives again. That is our greatest wish and our most desperate dream. Oh, please, please let it come true. It must come true. Oh, that was her talking. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. Okay, so this is the end? I thought he just saved it? I, I, I'm really confused. To be quite honest with you. Very confused. Hello? There's some light. There, oh, there's the light again. Oh, uh, what? What? Oh, man, what's going on? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Winner, winner. Moon dinner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So it worked. Awesome. It took weeks, though? Like, that's kind of confusing. A little weird. A little weird. So I hear that they're planning on doing a sequel for this game, which is kind of awesome. Because I like this game. I enjoyed it. I definitely did. But, I wonder what the sequel would be like. Look at those eyes, they're diamonds. That is weird. Oh no, we're dead. No, no, we're going down. No, no, we're dying. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh no. Did we get stuck in the same tree? I think we did. <laughs> yep, we did. <coughs> That's kind of funny.
Yep. <laughs> That's weird. It's like nothing ever happened. And the moon's back. Oh uh, yeah. But what about the sun? Hmm. Do I smell sequel? Now we have to save the sun. Oh no! Wow, this is a long episode. All right, it's almost over. Dear Father, the doomstones that fell over Rivera have been purified by pure joy. The skies are as blue as ever, the breeze blows as softly as ever, and Lunaris watches over us from the sky, as bright as I've ever seen it. The people of Rivera rejoice over the morning skies as if they thought they would never see them again. I am sad to think that I'll never see Nolia again, but when I look at Lunaris, I know you're both watching over me. <coughs> when I see everyone going about their chosen life, I'm overwhelmed with a wave of happiness, and I know I've made the right choice. I see Mother everywhere here in her beloved land, beautiful, peaceful Riveria. I know that in the end there will be anger, and there will be tears, and there will be many hardships, but mostly I know there will be life. A life that is full of happiness, hope, and love. You always said I inherited mother sentinem and totality. I don't even care. Ha. Who would have thought I'd inherit her life as well? Alright. Save. Game over. I'm, like, confused here. Hey. And that looks like it is the game over. So thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying this journey with me. Um... Next up on the list, we do have Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker, so that will start in two days, of course. Um, thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this series. Hopefully we can develop the channel into a spot where we can have successful LPs alongside Pokemon games. And I do appreciate the support through that. So thank you guys once again, and I hope to see you guys at the next episode. Next series, rather. Peace.